once again, beloved and friends, to be here this Sunday morning to minister the word of God. I trust the Lord everyone is in good health and happiness regardless of our situation in the world. As I always say, beloved and friends, Jesus himself says, he says, Lo, I'm with you always. I will never leave you nor forsake you even unto the end of this world. Isn't that awesome this morning? Isn't that great? Isn't that mighty? Isn't that majestic that God himself promised to be with us in every situation, in every circumstances, in every trial and every testing and every storm and every decision making he says in his words a thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand but no evil shall befall thee and no plague shall come by thy dwelling welcome this morning let's give him a big hand hallelujah <laughs> praise god welcome this morning god bless you richly sincerely from my heart i release a blessing upon your life and i pray that god will bless you physically spiritually socially materially financially educationally and every year in your life i pray this very Sunday morning that God will bless your homes, God will bless your marriage, God will bless your children. God will bless your finances, that God will bless your business, and whatever you do with your two hands, it shall prosper in Jesus' precious and gracious and wonderful name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Also, Jesus said in his words, healing is the children's bread, and the first covenant he made with man was the covenant of healing, for he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities, the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes I am healed you are healed, we are healed this morning this morning beloved I cover everyone here under the precious blood of Jesus, I build a hedge around your life yes I break every chain I break every barrier, I break every fetter, every spirit of witchcraft, obeah demonic forces, evil blights generational curses that come against your life I destroy under the precious blood for whom the Son set free is free indeed you are free this morning in Jesus name let's give him a hand this morning <laughs> hallelujah you are free in the mighty name of Jesus praise God thank you Jesus oh blessed be the name of Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus this morning I'd like to continue with my message this morning what happens when you die and that's what Jesus spoke more about hell than heaven my friends is important why he spoke more about heaven heaven hell than heaven my friends he didn't even he wanted now hell is as you say in the original in the original my friends Greek Hades is a holding place holding place for non-believers until the resurrection their body at the end of the millennium praise the Lord at which time they're going to stand before God at the let's there's the judgment seat and this kind of thing hence once your spirit leaves your body my friends and you're dead your body will begin begin to to decay immediately but people don't worry about it. it's only temporary hallelujah it's only temporary my friends let's start on with me to Ezekiel Ecclesiastes chapter 12 yes 7 write the first down as you remember this morning we need to understand the scriptures your creator now remember now your creator while you're young before the civil court of life spans the golden bowl is broken and the water jar smashed at the spring in the pulley day is pulley is broken at the well for for the end yes return to the earth and the spirit yes will return to God who give say the dust will return to the earth yes my friends that's the scripture your body going to begin to decay immediately now the reason I told you that this morning my friends and beloved don't worry about it is because your body is going to be resurrected at time in the future whether you're a free believer or a non-believer what's happened is determined my friends and beloved it's determined by what we do 
Hallelujah. It's important. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of Jesus. When that happens, it determines whether you are a believer or a non-believer. But I want you this morning, I want you this morning to understand something. When you die, when you die, my friends, your body going to begin to decay. So there is a separation of the spirit, the spirit separation, the spirit of the body, and this and this separation of hallelujah the spirit from the body is an abnormal abnormal condition what i mean by abnormal this morning beloved and friends condition i mean that god has never created he has never created it to be this way when god created adam hallelujah praise god and he formed him from the dust of the earth hallelujah praise god hallelujah from the ground he breathed into him the breath of life and he became a living soul hallelujah that's what genesis chapter 2 verse 7 says and god's original intention was for our body our body my friends and beloved to last as long as our soul and of course of course this morning we need to understand our soul was created to be eternal yes hallelujah you you need to understand that your soul is is this morning hallelujah eternal it will live forever it will live forever where it it my friends and beloved it where it lives forever depends on whether whether you hallelujah you're a believer or a non-believer yes i want you to understand something this morning god original plan intention was for our body to last as long as our soul yes in other words for it to be an eternal body hallelujah that means that our body was never created to wear out to be sick or to die did you get that this morning hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah and the only reason that uh, that occurs is beloved and friends because of sin so because of sin because of sin death tears apart temporarily what god created hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus and join together our spirit and soul and body this morning what people is only temporal because because sometime in the future god is gonna go, going to resurrect your body and your spirit hallelujah praise God along with your soul it's one along with your soul is one your spirit to join your soul is going to be joined hallelujah praise the Lord together hallelujah. and again the body that's going to gain happy happen now as I said what happened happen when when hallelujah when that happens it determines by whether my friends and beloved Hallelujah, you're a believer or a non-believer. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, this morning. Are you getting me this morning what I'm saying? Hallelujah. When Christ returns with you in if my when christ returns with uh, me you will look in the book of the first thessalonians chapter 4 let's read verse 13 through hallelujah through 17 and now dear brothers and sisters hallelujah praise god we we want you to know what will happen what will happen to the believers who have died so will not hallelujah praise the lord grieve like people who have not no hope this morning hallelujah since we believe that jesus died and was raised to life again we also believe today my friends that when he tells us when he tells us when hallelujah praise god thank you jesus yes when he tells us when jesus returns god will bring back god will bring back hallelujah he will bring back my friends and beloved with him the believers who have died other words when jesus returns my friends he with all believers are going to come back with him why today why all believers coming back with him because when you die your spirit 
along with your soul with your soul goes to heaven to be with him did you get that your soul jesus so when jesus returns your spirit yes when and soul are coming back with him let's understand that so a little bit further when jesus when jesus when jesus return god will bring back with him the believers who have died we tell you this today directly from the lord who who are are still living when the lord return will not meet him ahead of those who have died are you getting me this morning beloved for the lord himself will come down from heaven with the commanding shout hallelujah with the voice of the archangel hallelujah and with the trump of god for for for, for the, 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 the believers my friends the trump who have died will raise will raise from the grave now wait a minute we found the hallelujah praise god we found graves now wait a minute out in verse number 14 what those who have died are coming back with the lord hallelujah they're coming back how can they be coming back with the lord if they're still to still to have been resurrected well it's because because of what hallelujah the bible teaches when you die your body your body goes into the ground it decays it goes my friends and beloved back to dust but your spirit and your soul goes to heaven so when jesus returns when he returns your your spirit and your soul are coming hallelujah with jesus and then when the last trumpet hallelujah sounds your body then that's how dust dust my friends hallelujah praise god is so really doesn't matter this morning whether you're cremated or whether you hallelujah you're embalmed or buried or whether you died yes out in the wilderness and the vultures the vultures eat your body yes will be raised if you be raised from from the dead hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus did you get that this morning beloved and friends the dead into the new immortal body immortal body hallelujah will go to meet the lord in the air to be joined with your spirit and your soul hallelujah praise god let's give a big hand that's the spirit of the lord so so this is this is my friends hallelujah praise god this is what it looks like let me now draw yes your attention i want you to imagine like i having a board today I am going to do a timeline go out uh, hallelujah to here it just keeps uh, going but uh, we're going to make a little bit in here my friends uh, yes hallelujah thank you jesus uh, oh blessed be the name of jesus uh, yes uh, which means we're going to talk about the time jesus christ died and was uh, was resurrected this is known as the church hallelujah it is known as the church age the dispensation of grace up to be my friends up to the time to to get to the end of the earth so this morning as hallelujah praise god as we imagine the earth as we know it as a time the time beloved and friends and loved ones today the earth as we know it is is there going to going to be a period of seven years called the tribulation period so i'm going to let you know what the tribulation period is all about it's the seven years here and after that after that tribulation jesus is going to come physically physically hallelujah return to the earth now when he comes when he comes my friends hallelujah praise god in the air and these things happen these things happen they call the rapture but to understand that as we got to, to the as we could get to the end of the of the of that my the seven year tribulation period to be a period of tribulation for seven years upon the sort and then jesus will physically 
physically return to the earth and reign after the seven years of the earth for a thousand years and that is known my friends and beloved this morning as the millennium and after that hallelujah praise God after that the Bible teaches and tells us a thousand years something going going to happen that we're going to talk about this morning hallelujah well I want you to understand this morning is my friends that what I want you to understand that when our bodies are resurrected hallelujah praise God that when our bodies are resurrected determines this determined by whether by whether hallelujah we are believers or non-believers so let's me let me show you what happens this morning between the period of Jesus Christ and the, the tribulation period let's suppose this morning beloved this is hallelujah this is your hallelujah your life somewhere here and the sick man and you you die you sick and you die my friends when hallelujah praise god when you die your body is buried in the grave in the grave your body is buried in the grave and your spirit goes to heaven along with your soul are you following me this morning to be with the lord now let's go a little slower now beloved and friends hallelujah when you die your spirit and soul goes to heaven and you don't have a physical body that doesn't listen carefully mean that you can't see taste hear or feel let me tell you we are going to find out all of these all of those things happen my friends but the reason that he, he likens death he likens death this morning hallelujah praise god to sleeping is because in your sleep in your sleep what you do in your sleep know that you're not doing anything but the, what your mind is going and in and out dreams and you can see and you can feel and you can hear and you can taste let me tell you my friends hallelujah when your spirit so goes to heaven with the Lord all of those things hallelujah all of those things my friends are there hallelujah you recognize your family you recognize recognize your loved ones you'll recognize your friends who died before you could recognize hallelujah your friends you've got to, to got godly friends hallelujah who are in heaven they're in heaven but always now let the, let me explain something this morning to you how what happens they're going to be had a time period for the believers my friends a time period for the believers they're going to be resurrected before hallelujah the millennium why because we're going to rule we're going to rule and reign and reign with him so what happens what happens is my friends and beloved hallelujah sometime before the millennium if you were a, a pre-trib it means before hallelujah Hallelujah, the tribulation, you believe the rapture is going to occur before the tribulation. The seven year period is a time, is a time, beloved and friends, banquet of the feasting of the wedding in heaven. Right, all right, hallelujah. The seven year in heaven is a banquet. If you mid, mid trib that means the rapture is going to happen in the middle of a tribulation if you're post trib you believe it's going to have happened at the end of tribulation but we all know it's going to happen before the millennium are you following me this morning here is what's going to happen jesus is going to come back but not all the way my friends to the earth all or at all of the of this person says what they say this morning beloved and friends we will come back with him and and the body is this this morning hallelujah are you for me the grave that decay is going to be hallelujah the grave that decay is going to be the resurrected to meet the lord in the air the resurrected body is what we just read rapture hallelujah and these my friends and beloved hallelujah is not awesome hallelujah these bodies are going to be rejoined rejoined to your spirit and your soul hallelujah we are going to we are going to have a type of body that christ had and that's 
what this morning happens to a believer now the bible teaches us this morning hallelujah praise god refers to the resurrection of believers hallelujah the first resurrection look look this morning has the first resurrection look at revelation chapter 20 and verses number five this morning and it clearly tells us this is the first resurrection the rest hallelujah the rest beloved hallelujah what is stated clearly Hallelujah, the rest of the dead did not come back to life. They did not come back to life. Hallelujah, follow me carefully this morning until the thousand years ended. That's the unbelievers. Hallelujah, until the thousand years ended. Hallelujah, yeah, these unbelievers who are going, 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 going to be, yes, my friends, hallelujah, praise God, have their body go. On, on, on the ground and their soul and their spirit not going to heaven they're not going to be resurrected until after a thousand years so beloved and friends this morning I'm going slow. The first resurrection occurs at the rapture. The first resurrection occurs at the rapture, sometimes before the millennium. And that's my friends and beloved. Sometime when the body of those who believe, hallelujah, Jesus are resurrected and they join, hallelujah, with their spirit again. The second time, hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise the Lord. The resurrection occurs a thousand years hallelujah later you see after the millennium beloved and friends this hallelujah this time where jesus physically rules or the body of all the believers praise the lord hallelujah will be resurrected and they're going going to stand before god at the great white throne judgment to be judged and that my friends beloved determines the severity of hallelujah the, the, the punishment listen to me not all people not all people beloved and friends and family and relatives who are unbelievers will be punished yes listen carefully the same bible teaches that they will hallelujah they will be hallelujah praise the lord listen carefully this morning they will be hallelujah to be be different degrees of punishment yes hallelujah we we need to understand this morning hallelujah not going to look at it uh, that may be sometime in the future but we will we will look at it one time or the other look at Luke chapter 12 it all explained what Jesus taught my friends what Jesus taught in the scripture it explains clearly what he says in the scripture verse 11 to 14 Jesus says clearly in the scriptures let me look at it this morning 11 verse 14 let me see what it says this morning <clears throat> when i saw a great white throne in him who was seated in the earth and the sky fled away in his presence and there was no place for them this uh, this is fearful and i saw the dead that word that i translate from the greek word no no ross no ross refers to this morning beloved spiritually dead they had to they had to actually had greek word for dead this morning but the two most common are t cross the neros t tinos that your body is just dead but necros my friends refer to spiritual death says i saw the dead those who were spiritually dead they never were born again great and small standing before the throne hallelujah and the books were open another book was open which is the book of life so we got two sets of, of life in the name in, in the book of life it means jesus christ so if you never receive jesus you're resurrected the million will stand before god the great white throne judgment and these books and in these books yes my 
my friends, everything you ever done, your motive, your intention, my friends. Yes, hallelujah. It's all there. And it says that you are going. You're going all there to say that you're going. Hallelujah. To be in the book. Uh, in other, in other, in other, hallelujah. Books open, which is a book of life. And the dead were judged according to the books. Hallelujah. And the word is in plural. And it says in the book of life. Yes, determines whether you are saved or those who are saved, whether you are saved or not, are the great white throne judgment. We many will have to pass through the great white throne judgment. Yes, my friends and beloved. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord. But when you judge according to what uh, what uh, the book, everything that you've been done, everything that you've been done, you see the sea give up the dead uh, that were in it. Uh, yes, the sea give up the dead. And this is very important. Uh, and death uh, and death and life, uh, death and hell give up the dead uh, that were in them. Praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God. Thank notice that there is a distinction between this morning, hallelujah, the dead and hell. Hell, hell, give, hell give up the dead, death and hell give up the dead, yes, that were in them, and each person were judged according to the scripture, according to what he had done. Then death is listen carefully, death and hell were thrown into the lake of fire of is the second is the second death today. Yes, death and hell were thrown in the lake of fire. Remember, we talk about the first death yesterday. This is a second death. Now I want you, I want you to understand, beloved and friends, what I'm saying this morning to notice in verse 13. It says that death and hell give up the dead. Hallelujah. Death and hell give up the dead. Death refers to the resurrection. Hallelujah. Of Hallelujah of the body, they give up the dead. In other words, they give up the bodies, they give up the bodies of, of the dead, and hell is where the spirit was. Praise God, key after they die. So let's uh, look at it this morning a little little closer. Another person here is uh, the believer. Here is a believer. Let's imagine they might have taught a believer what you know it was just uh, fire. It was just fire insurance policy. Don't want to go. Hallelujah. Praise God to hell. So I said, I accept Jesus Christ. But it didn't really have faith. Hallelujah. It never affected my life. So that person dies. What happens after that? The, boy, the spirit goes to heaven to be with the Lord. No, the spirit goes to hell. Let's, let's just see what happens here, my friends. The spirit goes to hell right in this so you can see hell hallelujah praise the lord thank you jesus how's that this morning what i want to tell you my friends and his bodies go his body go into the ground into the ground and what happened it going to decay into dust but after what the bible tells us after listen carefully after hallelujah after the body is decay second rich races rest resurrection the thousand year death the body the body my friends hallelujah praise god thank you jesus the body hell give up the dead so the body so the body is now hallelujah hallelujah resurrected the spirit and so come up so come up and just like the believers they have they have hallelujah have an just a moral body because believe believe it or not this morning hallelujah when you're shown into the lake of fire you don't burn up it's not over your soul your your soul my friends the new body that's resurrected the new body that is resurrected meant to be forever so you're going to be hallelujah be eternally punished so the bodies the bodies of of unbelievers are resurrected and they're joined with their spirit again to stand hallelujah before god to be judge and after beloved and friends they are judge according to everything everything they have done they are thrown into the lake of fire verses 14 again says and then death and hell 
did until was shown the lake of the lake of fire in the lake of fire the fire is the second death now remember this morning that we were told in the book of hebrews in hebrews by paul that man is destined to die man is destined to die hallelujah many times once if you are a calvary calvinist this morning whatever you are many times once hallelujah time if and you believe that god predetermines predetermines that whether you go to heaven or hell contrary to scripture every man is <coughs> is destined to die only how many times once only once by because god wants everyone to go to go my friends hallelujah god wants everyone to go to heaven but if you don't prepare if you don't prepare jesus going to you, you jesus going to die twice yes my friends you're going to die first time your 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 soul and your spirit is going to hell which is temporary holding place until beloved that great white throne judgment when you're going to be resurrected and stand before the throne the lake of fire yes which is a second death so unbelievers unbelievers this morning are what the scripture says unbelievers hallelujah resurrected just like the believers ex ex expected it happens a thousand a hundred yes a thousand years later and they're thrown into the lake into the lake of fire <clears throat> And now I want you to notice this morning what I'm saying. Jesus said, Jesus said in the book of Matthew chapter 25 verse 46, what it says, beloved and friends, they will go away into eternal, what they will go into away into eternal punishment. For how long will the punishment be? Yes, listen carefully. Be eternal punishment, no burning up, no burning up, hallelujah. And what the the Bible tells us my friends and beloved hallelujah it's over why do I tell you this this morning because I want you to know Jesus spoke more about hell than he did about heaven yes my friends have you been wanted to warn you yes he wanted to warn each and every one of us most of us get saved because hallelujah why we get saved because we're scared of hell why well, i want to tell you wise if you are not today if you're not scared of hell then you in the on the lake of fire then you are a fool today yes my friend so he says and they will go away they will go away into eternal punishment but the the righteous will go into eternal life they when they, they, they only die once and not twice and that's the sequence what i want to tell you this morning beloved and friends that's a sequence hallelujah praise the lord that's a sequence the event that are going to take place my friends after you die your spirit either goes hallelujah your spirit either goes to heaven or to hell and at some point in the future your body is going to be resurrected and rejoin rejoin with your spirit if you are a believer a christian today eternal life if you are not a, a believer you have eternal debt now i know this morning my friends that you might have to watch this sermon yes yes i preach it <clears throat> very fast on the website yes uh, two or three times to get it but you need to know these scriptures today my friends and beloved and understand what happens because let me tell you something let me tell you when you get to the age the age my friends hallelujah and it is and your body start feeling yes your body start feeling you should know death is near you should know you should know that death is near you should know my friends hallelujah feel like you're going to get ready to go who and why you return your turn is not hallelujah is not this morning because you're scared of death but let me tell you my friends 
friends because you don't know about those hallelujah praise God you don't know about those you're leaving behind they might need hallelujah that you the way I taught it to be that uh, that's uh, the way Paul was now pull pull out uh, your hallelujah pull out this morning yes praise God thank you Jesus your discipleship hallelujah yes my friends it's time for us to understand hear a sermon and read your Bible hallelujah supposed to ask yourself this question this morning is there something in what I've just said hallelujah praise God thank you Jesus hallelujah is there something I've just read or what I've heard is there a command that I should obey an example this morning shall I follow our principle I should follow today live by it well here you need to ask yourself uh, this morning my friends uh, you should I exercise common sense shall I exercise common sense today hallelujah praise the Lord thank you Jesus oh blessed be the name because I really don't have a, a command a common for you to obey I really don't have this morning hallelujah Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, an example to follow. And I really don't uh, praise the Lord. Have a principle. Live by when you, ex you see this, uh, you exercise some. Uh, yes, you need to exercise some common sense today. Hallelujah. Praise God. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. And that has uh, hit home, my friends. Uh, start going to funerals today rather than to parties so you can you can be be educated my friends hallelujah praise God start going to funerals rather than party and prepare properly properly prepared so when you die because you don't know when it will happen I guarantee you my friends yes my brother died four years ago at the age of 55 and I doubt whether he know he will go so young but he that young man was prepared for death and he was well prepared so I know absent from the body to be present with the Lord yes my friends I went to New York City four years ago for his funeral and he was cremated yes my friends but uh, his soul and his spirit uh, went to be with the Lord in heaven and I know at the song of the trumpet uh, when the trumpet of the Lord shall song yes uh, when in the rapture he is coming back with Jesus Christ uh, in the clouds uh, and at the first trumpet uh, his dead body the ash will come back uh, to life and his body his body will come back and the body will join the soul and the spirit yes and we will all and those who are alive and remain mortal shall put on immortality corruption incorruptible and be transformed and go into the rapture there in the rapture will be the marriage supper of the lamb for seven years where the saints will celebrate for the lord with the lord and during that seven years of, of uh, celebration in heaven, there on earth will be a seven year tribulation period where the Antichrist will rule and reign for seven years. There will be chaos and confusion, but I don't want to get into that now, my friends and beloved. But I want you to understand. I hope you understand when, when you die, what happens when you die. And it's very important. This message was very important today because many believers are writing me and do not really understand what happens when you die where you going what happens to your body and about the resurrection and what happened I did explain everything this morning God bless you richly do have a wonderful day praise the Lord I'll see you tonight and definitely I'm gonna pray for you tonight in the name of Jesus God bless you richly I love you very much in Jesus precious and gracious and wonderful name amen and amen thank you Jesus praise God